Good morning, I'm so excited. I'm in Oklahoma City. I'm at my first stop of the day. I got a late start. I slept in till 6 a.m., which was really refreshing. Finally got used to the time difference here. I'm starting the day off at Decades Antique Mall. Yes, Decades Revisited Antique Mall. All right, let's go check it out. They have a huge flea market outside too. I found a danger nook. I need to stop picking these up. 34, okay, that's fair, I can leave that. All right, well, there's a million things happening back here. This little Edward Mobley, I do believe this is Edward Mobley. Sold. And then, look at this teddy bear, that's really sweet, but it's a little close. All right, there's a lot happening back here. Literally and metaphorically. <laughs> this is so cute. This little children's bib. $4. I can't leave that here. Is it torn? It's not even torn. Yeah, that's too cute. All right. Scotch tape. My worst freaking nightmare. Oh. I'm going to like make a class act to ban scotch tape from antique malls. Even though it wasn't that bad. I'm just a little selfish because... I almost ruined my manicure. Oh my gosh, what in the world? Is this a rubber face hippo? Sold. All right, well, luckily it calmed down a little bit in this little nook. So I'm gonna take it slow and go shelf by shelf because this booth is packed full of stuff I'm interested in. The pin cushions are all kind of spendy. Oh my gosh, look at these sweet little gloves. How cute. Six dollars. I don't know how well they would do. And I love these little sewing baskets. Fourteen. That's totally reasonable. I don't think it leaves that much room for me. Um, they would need like a little extra something. I'm still really obsessed with that one I got in, I don't know where it was. I think it was in Nashville. I'm turning around because over here, there's like a million other squeaks sold. Now, this one's at 19, that one's just about what I would get for that after fees, and this one's at 20. Um, these usually sell for about 27 for me, and then subtract fees. I don't have much luck with sports stuff. This is cute. Baby, is it a bat or a spoon? Golf baby. And I'm a little underwhelmed by him. I'm taking this dog, but, oh my gosh, wait, stop, look at you. 16. That's probably about what I'd sell that for too. Or at least what I'd get for it after fees. Oh my gosh, I'm making such a mess. And little Bo Peep chalk were very cute, but at 24. What is this bear? Oh my gosh, how funny. And it's flocked. $8 is probably close. And here's another one of those Hong Kong lenticular eye things. $8 is a, a little less than what I got for mine after fees. Look at this cute little mirror. Oh! So many cute kitschy things, thank goodness. It's been kind of scarce for the kitsch out here. Well, not out here, I just got here, but in general on my trip, oh my gosh, these freaking booties. Those are adorable at $9. I'm not sure how much I could get out of them. Plus I wanna like go through this booth before I just start grabbing everything. This is an awesome way to start the day. Celluloid. Celluloid hasn't been doing that well for me. Let's see. Look at these coin purses. $12 to, for two. I wonder if they're torn. That's a really good price. I might have to open this up. So I did open them up. They're actually not that bad off considering they do have a little bit of damage right at a couple corners at the bottom, but that's to be expected. For $6 each, essentially, I'm kind of tempted to put them in my basket. And I've definitely acquired quite a pile. I'm not so sure if I'm gonna hold on to the, oh my gosh, how funny. I wish I had this second, um, the other boot too. I've never seen the little rattles attached to the boot like that. Yeah, I'm not so sure if I'm going to hold on to the... Oh, the duck safety pins. This little pin cushion. That's so cute. Um, well, pin cushions usually do alright, even though this one is, like, not the same as a lot of them. 
but I've sold these diaper pins for nine dollars um, by themselves kind of tempted to get that too look at the little bluebird and the Humpty Dumpty knobs two for ten dollars I think those are fantastic they don't like really overwhelmed right now it went from zero to 60 out here a little deer mug pretty sure everyone hates me right now because i'm taking up this whole booth howdy doody what's going on in here and i haven't even made it halfway through this booth yet i'm just kind of putting stuff in my basket i'm gonna go through it when i'm done because i'm taking up a lot of space oh my gosh these bookends at $18. Carved. More Holt Howard. Is this? What? That's freaking cool. I've never seen that before. Wait, look at this. Bow tie. Ceramic. That's neat too. I'm really overwhelmed. I know I've said that. But what about $30? Okay, I can move that. What's this one? That one's at $50. Shut the front door. Look at this. Alright, now moving on. That's cute. I'd Oh, my God. oh, I keep knocking into my microphone. I need to change that. What I was saying is I turned it around and I found cats. So even though it's got some wear, this is going in the basket too. All right, hopefully that will fix the situation. Now, what is this little candy box? That is so cute. 16. This guy's pretty great. Um, little dog. That's at $6. That is so cute. I'm going to get that. Hmm... What else do we have in here? Oh my gosh, look at that. $20. It's got some wear, but I love the imagery on that. And then they have the, this one's epic. 12 bucks? Is it damaged? Cause that's an epic pattern. Definitely dusty, but. <laughs> I think this thing is epic, but it is falling apart a little bit at the bottom. So I'm gonna have to go ahead and put that back. I know people like to find those in pristine condition. I mean, that's half the battle. They're usually pretty dinged up. Oh my gosh, look at this giant music box. Is it a music box? I think it is. It might not be actually. I don't see a top drawer that's big enough for it. Mm. Oh. That is so cute. Wait. Oh, 14. I thought it said four for a second. That is so neat. Scrapbook. Still at 14. That's really fair. And what's happening down here? Hmm. Whoa. Very neat color. I think that might be baked like too. I'm not sure. Maybe not. And up here the autographs i love ponytail stuff well i went to take a deep sigh of relief that i made it out of there and then i realized there's way more i love the owl doctor salt and pepper shakers um, those sell for less than i think i remember i looked them up one time and then the elf planter this guy's at only at ten dollars that seems important because he's in good condition and we've reached a teal section of the ashtray. Look at this salt shaker. Oh my gosh, it's a bellhop girl. $14. It's a two-in-one. Sold. Now, I do need to go through this basket because I've just been kind of picking up stuff like a psycho. Look at this. This is curious. Hmm. But there's also a pink and yellow section. The vanity set. It's all separate. Oh, 
that is so cute. Look at the soap pump. How much is the soap pump? 16, okay. Can't really do anything with that. That's about what I'd sell that for too. Now I also need to check out this Victorian box back here, 30. That's a really fair price. Oh my gosh. Alas, there's a poodle nook. Oh my gosh, look at this towel. Stop. $16 pair. This is so funny. Oh, what's this? Hmm, I will say if it was two of these for $16, I would pick that up in a heartbeat. I just don't think the man would sell very well. No offense, man. It's just different. I mean, it's just because this one's risque and it's got multi-dimensions on it. Um, let's see. All right, we have to go to this poodle nook. <sighs> I'm breathing deep. Uh, poodle cushion. Poodle trash can. Oh my gosh. You guys, I might have to call it a little bit early today. Uh, and spend the time rearranging the car after this. Because on my live sale tonight, thank goodness. Because I'm going to need all the space I can get. Because I'm pretty sure this is about to get ugly. If it hasn't already. So you guys, I do buy stuff for myself. This is at $30.00. And it's coming back to the East Coast with me. I know people are probably really upset that I'm keeping that. I, mean, I don't know. Maybe you're just happy for me. Look at this. Look at the pattern on it. It's fantastic. All right. Now, what poodles can I get for you guys? Look at this one. That one's at 14. I got one of those the other day. I guess it was, was it yesterday? Oh my gosh. This is adorable. I've never seen this one before. At 16, though, that's probably about the top of the line. I think this one is... What is going on here? Huh, interesting. This poodle cushion is curious to me. I'm not sure... I'm not sure what, what it means by poodle cushion, though. It just looks like a... I guess it's a cover... I'm not sure about that. I'm going to get that down and investigate. Now, I didn't finish back there because, you know, I normally, uh, I'm a pretty positive person. But you also know I don't go out on weekends. And what's happening back there right now is exactly why. It is extremely anxiety producing and crowded. Um, so far, the only thing from that booth I'm going to put back is this little duck pin. I just think for $9, it's too close. Everything else I'm good with. I'm still unsure about this purse. I can't, the more I look at this dog though, the more I think it would be weird to put that back. But these are definitely coming with me, especially for the pair. Those are incredible. I mean, the brooches alone go for more than that. Now I'm kind of reaching my final limitation of 38, okay. I don't think I'm going to be able to take it much longer. I'm going to drop some stuff off and go back to that booth, but I just want to finish in this way back before because <laughs> this is this is um this is too much excitement. Now there's a couple things in this corner that catch my attention. One is this hilarious Oh my gosh, for $4, he needs a home. He's coming with me. And the owl bank is neat. That's interesting. What was I looking at? I was looking at something. These are kind of neat too. Beaded owl, forty-five dollars. And this, this is really intriguing to me. I'm wondering if this is marked. Um, I also, I don't see anything. Twenty-five seems high for me to pay for resale. But I'm also like kind of in love with this napkin holder. I tell you what, if, um, is that just how it's made? I can't, let me see if this, oh, nope. So it looks like it's got a little bit of damage maybe. Does it? I can't, I need to figure this out, hold on. So I've never seen one quite like this with the seashells. I've inspected it pretty thoroughly and that's just how it's made. It's not actually damaged. So at $15, I usually don't like to spend that that much on these, but this one's really, really unique and I've never seen one like it. So in the basket it goes. Now, this is the next thing I see. 
Does that say $8? What is it, completely broken? Dude, what? I'm like so confused. Why is this? I see it's got a little chip right there. But this is definitely Victorian. $8 sold. All right, I need some extra hands. Now, before I get into the rest of this booth, I need to know, oh my gosh, look at this. Fitz and Floyd Vintage, $5. That is adorable. I'm gonna get that too. And last but not least, there's some freaking epic bangles in here. Yes, look at that colored one. Um, this is really cool looking. This is also very crazy back here. Yeah, that is vintage. $13. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Sold. I'm obsessed with the stripey one. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to let that one go. This one's very cool too. For $13, i am going to leave it though. Sorry. What about this thermometer? Vintage sunflower thermometer. $8. Sold. And what about this one? This one's neat too. Six bucks, sold again. Now this one is vintage too, but I'm gonna leave it for $10. I'm just a little underwhelmed for that price. What about this little bird picture? $20. Hmm, now we're getting into jewelry. All right, well, first one, I'm taking this one off. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that jewelry display was in like the worst place ever, so I had to move quick, but I did pick up the yellow flower at six. And even though this one has a little spot of paint missing in the middle, it's only $3, so I kind of feel like, why not? And then I did pick up this really cool, I believe it's, this is a scarf clip or something, oh, a scarf buckle. I'm not sure, but it has a really unique look and it's only a dollar, but not before I grab this for five bucks. Oh my gosh, I'm never gonna get out of this corner. Look at this, that's fantastic. I've never seen one of those for five bucks. I'm gonna grab it. Oh, and then I almost forgot about the little tin here, $8. It's got that Myocord decal on it. That is adorable for eight bucks. I'm gonna grab that too. All right, this is out of control. Oh my gosh, I'm screaming. Dude, I don't think this is actually a pen holder. I I think this is a cigarette holder. I've never seen anything quite like it. This thing's only five bucks? What? And look at these little funny wood skunk shakers. I'm never gonna leave here. For $2, I kind of feel like why not? Everybody loves skunks. And it will be a nice little souvenir. Get those. But not before I pick up this Karak for $5. Oh, but you thought I was done? <laughs> Check out this little leather pouch. Uh, it is leather. It's really cool. It's only $5, so I'm going to get that. But even more importantly, look at this. For $5, this is real mink fur, and I'm pretty sure, yep, <laughs> awesome. I'm still in this back little nook because as miserable as it is, um, the, the location's not ideal. I keep finding stuff like this little macrame owl, five bucks. Now I'm really tempted to get this, but it's missing a couple rhinestones. So at $8, I can't justify it. And this is really neat too. That's only $3. I don't know how well these sell. I kind of feel like we'll give it a chance. It's only three bucks. At this rate, three bucks isn't gonna break the bank. This is also really interesting. It's a pin with a clip. Well, I definitely need to offload stuff before I pick up a single item. But I noticed these ducks walking back. 18 for the pair, cute, but also this. <laughs> I know it's made in China. I just thought it was so much fun. So in honor of it being Sunday and me sleeping for four hours a day average, I think I slept for like 
five one day for the past six days. For the first time like ever, I'm pretty sure I've never done this. I'm taking a break. I gave them my stuff. I explained my situation. They, uh, I was like, I cannot go on any longer. It's completely chaotic in here. I need a bottle of water and some fresh air. So I'm not done. I'm just taking a break. I'm not gonna do a whole lot of shopping today. If it's anything like it is in there, it's not for me. I'm gonna wait till tomorrow, Monday. Yes, please, Monday. You know, I love my Monday through Friday. Friday's a little crazy sometimes too. Antique mauling, so taking a break.